Okay guys, so I have been loving this Myers, and when it got low, I put water in it to get everything out of it. I am frugal. I like to get all my coins worth of everything that I buy. So guys, I'm gonna put it up on a screen somewhere. I believe I bought this in February. Mind you, February 2024, okay? I don't know when you're seeing this, but you could still get a, a um, idea of how long this lasts. February 2024, I bought this and um, I diluted. I don't use it straight because it cleans my dishes and my glasses look really clean. I don't have a problem. i just been putting it in here because I don't have my sink um, countertops and all that installed where I have the dispenser for my soap. So I've been putting it in here. So what I've been doing is I put about this much of it. And I have a video that you'll probably see before that's just talking about how I like it. I'm not even going to talk about that. But I'm going to tell you how this stuff lasts so long. So I put about this much here. Literally not even less than half. A little, little over a quarter but less than half. Like sort of kind of like of a third of actual um, soap. And then the rest I fill up with um, dish soap. And it still soaps up really well. Um, and this little shaky stuff in here is just me taking water and actually... I'm actually going to put some more water. Me taking water and diluting it, right? And getting all that goodness out of this container so that we can use it. But let me show you what I'm getting ready to do now. I'm going to go even further. That way, my daughters don't have to worry about doing it. I'm going to use this container once I get all this out of it. And I'm going to use the container. Um, And I'm going to dilute. I'm going to put like, ooh, maybe... A, a soap like to maybe this line right here and then I'm going to fill the rest up with about water to hmm let's see let's do it now I wait to prime day on um, prime this normally I think I pay ten dollars and eighty eight cent for this and this is a 48 ounce and um, on prime day in July of 2024 I end up and today is October 2020 fourth 2024 so that's how long this has lasted so if you don't know about this dish soap this stuff has lasted a long time like literally guys it is what february march april may june july august september october eight months eight months and that was ten dollars okay and that was me diluting it that was me diluting it not using it full so think about i bought two more so here's the other. So I end up getting two brand new ones. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. And these are going to last a long time because I'm going to do the same thing. Dilute them. And I feel like even with the amount I was using with water versus the um, soap, I can go even more. Because I, I started diluting it even more, even more. And the dishes still come out clean. We don't have problems with our dishes looking a hot mess. And so I wanted to share this with you guys because we're about saving coins, right? We're about saving coins. But if you want to know about anything else about this, I'll actually have already loaded that other video. I don't think I talk too much about diluting. If so, y'all just have two videos. Let me get my funnel. White funnels are for like plants and random cleaners and stuff around the house and my stainless steel are for my food so I'm gonna put the funnel in there and we're gonna see the amounts you see the amount is right here just to show you I want it to go like right to this line maybe a little lower I would say like right there is going to be enough um, to dilute let's see I need to, some more yeah we want this and that whole thing is going to last me if I fill it up, so I say a little bit more. There we go. You see where the line is? Like right there. So we're gonna see how that dilution <laughs> works for um, my soap and if it still cleans good and all that. Once it's done, I'm gonna show you how it looks on here. And then we're gonna add water and I wanna feel the texture of it. It's still going nice. And so this stuff is very concentrated. So. I don't I never paid attention to see if it said add water I don't think it does I think you're just supposed to um use it like it is um but I'm one for I hate when people are overdoing um products on your channel it irritates me so bad the soap the soap is extra like I mean the stove or the dishes are extra soapy and you're really not washing them off you're actually harming your family by 
allowing them to have to eat those chemicals especially if you got little kids that's not rinsing cups out well the cup might look dry but it might have a lot of remnants of that chemical that dawn dish soap whatever it is you're using in your bleach or whatever it is you're using i stopped using bleach now i do have bleach for times when i have to clean my cast iron pans with greasy stuff and i have to pour it down there when i do it with hot water i always pour it with hot water down there to break up the grease so that it doesn't coat my pipes so that's something you should also do as well um but yeah so we got all that in there and this is what it's looking like it is about right at that line i think i want more than that and um we're gonna see how this works. i just oops am i doing oh i'm doing the right one I, this is trial and error for me because as I continue to dilute it, I'm like, wait a minute, I can dilute even more. It's still soapy. It's still soapy. Do y'all see this? This was just remnants of the actual soap, okay? This is remnants of the actual soap with water. And let's just see how that does with the. Let me see something. Let me see. See what I'm saying? Like, this is, yeah. Oh, it's still. Soap and soapiness does not mean clean. It's the actual chemical, what you use, and how it cleans the elements. It does not necessarily mean it's clean just because you have a lot of soap. It actually, to me, like I said, and then you can read about this, a lot of people overdoing cleaning products on their dishes, and what it's doing is leaving it on, is leaving it on the actual dish, and kids are getting sick, and things are happening with them because you are leaving this soap and this this uh what do you call it i can't think of the word it's like remnants or or, or just like cast of it just left on glasses and cups and bowls and forks and stuff and you're not using something like this that is like biodegradable plant-based something that's like good for you good for your septic system and good to clean your dishes in you're not doing that so you're causing problems that you don't even realize so now we're about to add water and i'm going to fill it up as you see how it's, you see where it is as much as possible probably to there so i can fill the soapy texture and see how it um, soaps up and then we'll see if I need to add more soap. Okay, let's see. We're gonna shake her up. And look how much I use, y'all. Uh, look at that. Tuh. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, I could have, look at that. I could have used less. Oh, I could have used less, but it's fine. So we'll probably dilute it just a little bit. Look at that. I could have used less, but I don't, oh man. We're going to put some more water. We're going to fill it all the way up now. Well, next time when I make another round, we'll probably put a little bit less soap. But now I can see, I can come back to this video and see how much um, water versus soap I can put into here because um, let me see, I can't see. Oh, that's real foamy. Yep. So I wanted to share this with you. Break it down. Break it down. Make your stuff last. Make your stuff last. This is. I'm gonna have dish soap at least for. I would say another two years. <laughs> A year and a half at least. Let's just say another year and a half. We ain't going to drag it. Another year and a half. So that's the soap. That's going to go under the sink. And these are going to go in back in the cabinet. Tell me what you think in the comments. Do you do the same thing? Do you dilute your soap? Do you use this kind of soap? Do you like Mrs. Myers? I um actually, like I said, we'll be sharing a video on my thoughts on it and how it works on the dishes. And the price I think is really amazing for the type of... um whatchamacallit uh soap this is so yeah aroma therapeutic household product creating clean and happy home since 2001 tough on dirt and grime and gentle on your home lemon verbena all right guys talk to me in the comments i do talk back